They're off. Stags breath to send the track tries for the lead. Kentucky Yankee on the rail. Second, Dominant Dream the outside. Third. Around the turn, moving towards the back stretch. Kentucky Yankee in front by uh, three lengths. Stag's Breath dropping in second with Yeehaw Junction third. About three lengths back to Dominant Dream fourth. Crystal Gold fifth. Four lengths back to Slash trailing the field sixth. Approaching the quarter pole, Kentucky Yankee on top by uh, two and a half lengths. Stag's Breath second. Quarter times 28 and four. At the paddock turn the first time, Kentucky Yankee leads it by a length and a half. Stag's Breath second. Yeehaw Junction third. Two and a half lengths back to Dominant Dream fourth. Crystal Goal fifth. Slash still sixth. As they come by the stands the first time, Kentucky Yankee in front by a length. Stag's Breath second. Yeehaw Junction up on the outside third. Dominant Dream on the rail fourth. Approaching the half mile pole, Yeehaw Junction on the outside to get the lead. Kentucky Yankee back to second. Halftime is one minute and two fifths. Around the clubhouse turn to final time. Kentucky Yankee still leads by three parts of a length. Yeehaw Junction right there alongside second. Stag's Breath on the rail third. About four lengths back to Crystal Goal fourth. Dominant Dream fifth. Slash sixth. Approaching the three quarter pole. Yeehaw Junction in front now by a length and a half. Stag's Breath moving on the outside second. Kentucky Yankees drop back third. Three lengths back to Dominant Dream fourth. Three quarters, one twenty-nine and one. Around the far turn, Yeehaw Junction leads by a length and a half. Stag's Breath second, two and a half lengths back to Kentucky Yankee third. They're at the head of the stretch. Yeehaw Junction in front by two lengths. Stag's Breath the outside second. Kentucky Yankee third. Through the stretch, Yeehaw Junction by two and a half lengths. Stag's Breath second. Yeehaw Junction and Stag's Breath. Yeehaw Junction in front. Number 10 has gone official. We will take a look at the prices because that is what we do here on Yonkers Race Rail Live. $9.360 and out. Two four is worth $32. Two four three, $225.75. And awaiting Yeehaw Junction in the Winter Circle is the mutual director to the stars, Jank Binky Moran. Presenting to the winner's circle, 2-4 and 3 will get you the fourth place finisher in a second. But for now, as Jack Moran makes an illustrious debut on Yonkers Raceway Live, we're talking summer replacement here very shortly. 17 minutes to race number 11, we'll spend a few minutes with winning driver John Campbell on Yonkers Raceway Live. Well, Yehoa Junction found his way to the winner's circle for the first time this year. This fellow has certainly done it many times. John Campbell, congratulations. Thanks a lot, Frank. Let me ask you, was it, did the trotting hobbles make that much difference? I mean, you went uncovered into a 58-2 last half. You wore down the pace setter and you had enough to hold off the favorite. Yeah, he was very strong. Uh, I really didn't know what to expect. Uh, Morgan just uh, took over training him a couple weeks and said he trained good on a half-mile track at Harrington. And uh, he got around there fine, and he, he was quite comfortable with the wire. When you get a race like this, you have to only have to beat two horses, obviously, to come back for the big money next week. You have a horse who's got the new equipment for the first time. As the gate springs, what's what's kind of going through your mind? Well, you just want to get him around there trotting. Um, even though he trained on a half, he's not going in there as hard as he was tonight. And your main thing is to get him uh, the first quarter and get him settled. Um, because you are thinking about getting qualified for next week. But once we got to the half and the pace was slow, uh, he was on for going and I was on for letting him. Okay. You know a thing or two about winning the Yonkers Trot, a few win photos in the uh, family dam. What kind of a horse does it take to win the Yonkers Trot? Now that it's not eliminations and finals in the same night, you've got a week between races. Well, you have to have a lucky horse because you have to draw well. Uh, I don't care who it is, uh, it's very difficult to win for the seven, from the seven or eight over here. So you have to have a lucky horse and you have to have one that's handy. Um, with all, all the best ones in the final, you can't overcome uh, a horse that uh, you can't maneuver and, and still win. You took a look at the first elimination. What impression did you get from that? Well, it's a very handy horse that won. He looked uh, well in hand, and he had the rail, but uh, he trotted out of there strong, and uh, they could just do whatever they want with him. So he's a horse that if he draws well, he's going to be reckoned with. We'll see you next week. Yeah, I'll be back next week. Right? Yehua Junction wins the second Yonkers Trot Elimination, mile 11, 58 and 4. Congratulations, John Campbell. We'll look at the full race replay, moving along to race number 11 as Yonkers Raceway Live.